Later that day, the band visits friends at Pollock Free State, a camp in Glasgow built to protest the construction of a new motorway. I am a free-born man of the Gypsy Nation. These people are trying to stop a road, you know. And uh, what's going to happen is, as a consequence of this road, they're going to cut down this forest, which you can see over here, all these lovely trees which are over 200 years old. The road's kind of blasting through. And, I mean, if it's worth saving, it's worth saving. I mean, this particular piece of ground was given to the people of Glasgow many years ago. I mean, it maybe doesn't look like much, but by the time they built a motorway through here, there'll be nothing left. And there's a lot of wildlife here. There's otters, there's deer, squirrels. Well, none of that way. What, we, what we are hoping to do in, in Hollock Estate is to create a, a camp to air our views and concerns about the motorway they propose to put through Hollock Estate. So what we're doing is we're setting up here, building tree houses in a, a lodge, a big wooden lodge, building totem poles and carving stone. We'll try to make it as interesting as possible. Uh, we're, we're getting some metal work going, hopefully, and maybe some pottery. So what we're doing is, rather than slagging off the system, we're trying to do something positive. And uh, we've got a few months to really make a difference, you know what I'm saying? Try and influence the way people look at it and raise awareness, you know? Because I was brought up in this neighbourhood, and it's one of the nearest bits of countryside, and it's where we kind of learned to uh, sort of appreciate nature and wildlife. And there's so many hundreds of kids here who rely on it for uh, to connect with nature. And I don't. And it was given to the public. If it, it's supposed to belong to the people. You know what I'm saying? So we've got an interest in it. It is common old land. It belongs to the people, so we should defend it if we value it. So that's why we're here. I don't know if I had to say something important to people. I don't know what it would be. What would you say? I have to say something important to people. What do you think you have to lose here? What do you have to lose? Another little bit of space and a, little, a bit of nature in the city. It's just going to be another bloody road. Some cities, for example, Bristol, that's all they are, one big fucking road. This is a bit of wide open space, a bit of semi wilderness. It's a shame to see it go.
stage that are attempting to award them, and they are awarding the contract for the M77 in there today. For the last five months in particular, we have had every environmental group in Great Britain, we have had Glasgow District Council, the Regional Labour Party, thousands of citizens of Glasgow, saying that it's an outrage, putting the, putting the points, putting the arguments, giving an alternative strategy, explaining why you don't need this more, why building this more is a bad idea. Only last week you had the Royal Commission report to say that building this motorway was not a good idea. To say that motorway building and pollution was a bad idea. You had to stop it, you had to do something about it. And they are in there today behind closed doors because the decision was already made before we were allowed into the public galleries. They have made the decision behind closed doors without taking people into consideration in an undemocratic fashion and allowing this motorway to go ahead. We will physically stop this motorway from happening peacefully and non-violently with lots of fun and lots of singing and lots of dancing and we will stop that motorway from being built. What they are doing in there today is signing a contract. Contract is only a bit of paper. A bit of paper is of no relevance to us. We'll still have to physically build the motorway and they'll have to go through us to do that. What it means for people in the immediate area is the destruction of their woodlands, the destruction of the areas that their kids grew up in and their kids play in, the destruction of the places that they can go for walks. It will mean extra asthma for some of the highest asthma areas in Glasgow. It has no economic benefit. It just means that you're wasting £53 million on a motorway instead of spending £53 million on alternative transport, which is which everybody in the, in the 1990s knows is the only sensible thing that you should be doing, spending it on alternatives. Well, we got back home about six hours ago and I'm just answering letters and things that have arrived for me, band stuff. I've been away for a few weeks, moving away or something. Just now I'm just writing to people in Greece to tell them what time we'll be arriving in Athens after we get back from France, Spain and Portugal. I'll just write them, tell them the details when to pick us up at the airport. Then, I'm going to have a bath, because I've not had a bath for a few weeks. I need to wash my hair, have a shave, and I've got to get the equipment sorted out. Next up, I'm ready for the next bit. France, Spain, Portugal.